Hello, I'm Patrick Weber, Chief of the FCC's Consumer and Governmental Affairs Bureau. Unwanted calls continue to be the FCC's top consumer complaint, and they remain our top consumer protection priority. The calls are not only annoying, they often serve as an entry point for fraud. The FCC is working with Congress and other federal agencies to aggressively tackle this problem. Over the past three years, the FCC has issued hundreds of millions of dollars in fines against illegal robocallers. We've adopted rules to allow phone companies to block invalid or unassigned numbers. We've also allowed phone companies to block numbers that don't make outbound calls, like our own toll-free number, 888-CALL-FCC. We've empowered phone companies to block illegal or unwanted calls by default. And we've banned malicious caller ID spoofing of text messages and calls originating overseas. The FCC is also taking steps to ensure that caller ID authentication is implemented by phone companies to help reduce illegal spoofing and restore consumer trust in caller ID. While we continue to work on implementing these and other tools, we offer these tips. Don't answer calls from numbers you don't recognize. If the caller is not who you're expecting, hang up immediately. If you receive an unexpected call, never give out personal information such as account numbers, passwords, social security numbers, or any other identifying information. Use caution if you're being pressured to act immediately or to pay for something with a gift card. If someone calls saying they represent a company or a government agency, hang up and call back using a number you can independently verify. Look into robocall blocking apps that may be available for your mobile device and check with your phone company about the robocall blocking tools they offer. We also ask for your help in spreading the word. Check out the information that follows this message and encourage your family and friends to do so as well.